Today I'm going to teach you the 12 top videos that every real estate agent needs to produce in 2020. And stay tuned for video idea number eight, as this is for sure going to set you apart from the competition. My name is Matthew Kelly. I'm a real estate marketer that helps agents grow and nurture their database through video marketing. I post videos here every Thursday around marketing, real estate, and personal development. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in that type of content and drop a like if you gain any value from this video. So before I get started, I wanted to start with a quote that all too often I see agents fall victim to, and that is done is better than perfect. Don't stress about your video being perfect, stress about it being good and strive to continuously improve. So without further ado, let's hop in to video topic number one. The first video you should be producing is client testimonials, especially video testimonials as now written testimonials are becoming more the standard of the norm and they're really to capture someone else's eyes and the feel of your past clients is through video. Now, when you're setting up your client for a video testimonial, don't just ask them to record, ask them a series of questions that might bring out something interesting of a response for them. The second type of video you should be producing is stuff to display your real estate knowledge within the market. So this is any questions that you might get from your ideal client. So first time home buyer questions, any buyer questions, sellers questions, investment property questions. These are things that you know and you have the knowledge of and you can easily speak to to display your expertise. The third video you can produce is market updates within your local market. So don't only talk about what's happening with how many days on the market, what's the average listing price sold. Don't just talk about that stuff, analyze it. What does this mean for buyers? What does this mean for sellers? What does this mean for investors? And make sure to add your own personality in and it's not just you talking behind a whiteboard, but more you have some energy and passion towards this topic. The fourth type of video you should be producing is local business owner interviews. This is beneficial for multiple reasons as people are moving to a city, not just based on the real estate market expertise, but about the actual businesses, the lifestyle, the community that they are going to be moving into. And therefore this is a great way for agents who necessarily don't aren't that comfortable on camera and rather defer the talking to someone else. So with business owner interviews, you can easily prepare a couple of questions and get the business owner that you're interviewing to do the majority of the heavy lifting. Now, this is not only great for exposure as you can get exposed to their audience as well, it just builds up your reputation within the community. The fifth video you should be doing is Facebook and Instagram lives. Anytime you have maybe a quick half an hour as you're in between meetings, hop on a Facebook live and answer any of their questions that people may have that are tuning in or if you're at an open house, no one's there yet, or you're 30 minutes early, flip open the Facebook and Instagram lives and live a virtual walkthrough tour through it. The sixth type of video you should be doing is video listing tours. As back in the day when photos were the standard to sell a home, now is becoming video and you must have a video of a nice detailed walkthrough of your listings. Especially with everything going on with COVID in the world, it's great to give the people the opportunity to really get a feel for a house through a video rather than just photos. The seventh type of video you should be producing is a video about yourself. And this is a great video to add to your YouTube trailer as this will show all new users. So this video can detail who you are, what separates you from the competition, how you help and who you help. This also allows people to get a better feel of who you are and what you stand for, allowing you to build some rapport without actually even getting on the phone with them yet. So video topic number eight, this is the one I was talking about at the earlier in the videos that I do not see enough agents utilizing and you can start today to separate yourself from the competition. That is community videos. Now these videos don't have to be overly complicated. Yes, during COVID, it makes it a little bit harder to have those event recap videos, but there is still lots to do within your community that you can tailor to your target market. So if your target market is young males or up and coming professionals, you might want to target and share content around golf courses. Whereas if your target market is families, you may want to share your activities around the community to do more with daycares, community centers, uh, camps, etc. The ninth type of video you can create is a neighborhood tour. So similar to the community videos where it's showing you're out in the community, this is really showing you what it's like to live in this community. What are the points of interest in this community? What's around you? What resources are around you for that particular area? This is great if you have an area you're trying to farm and really trying to generate leads from. 
the 10th video you can create is all about mortgages as this is one of the biggest factors people have when purchasing a home and if you're able to help answer their questions around this topic or prove any misconceptions you could be the person that they go to when they're ready to sell or buy the 11th video idea that you could start producing today is community Zoom calls. So this could be a, just a recording of a Zoom call where you and some other local experts hop online to answer any of the neighbor's questions or potential clients' uh, questions and concerns. Then once you're done this video and have an open forum, you can post it to all your social media channels, helping other people answer the same questions. Video topic number 12 is all these about the city. So these could be five myths about the city or five facts about the city or pros and cons of living in a city. These are things to help make an educated decision on which city the buyers would like to live in. So those are the 12 video ideas you can start implementing today. Since you stuck around to here, I'm gonna be giving away a free PDF outlining over 25 unique real estate video ideas that you can grab as the link is in the description and also in one of these cards above here. So if you gained any video value out of this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for future videos. Now off to the side, you can check out some videos that YouTube recommends and thinks you would like.